For the second week of Advent, the word is prepare. And we hear that word both in the gospel with John the Baptist borrowing the words from Isaiah, the prophet from the first reading, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. But preparing is not necessarily doing of the things we think of. After all, we're doing a lot to get ready for Christmas. We're decorating and wrapping, buying, all the things we do during this time of year. But the preparation that Advent calls for, the preparation of the Baptist, is an eternal one. It calls for a change of heart. It calls for us to throw off our old self so that we can make a heart that is open, ready, and with a straight line for the Lord. In all the preparations of Advent, let's remember preparing for the way of the Lord is not doing, it's changing. And that's hard for us. We don't like to change. We don't like to give up those bad habits that we've grown pretty comfortable in. We don't like to change mindsets. We don't like to change the way we look or judge other people or situations. But that's the preparation Advent calls for. A change, not by doing things out here, but by changing in here where it matters. Because we all forget our heart is only so big And if our heart throughout the year has been cluttered up with self-love and love of things, with our own right self-righteousness, our own pride, there's no room for Christ. And the best way we prepare for the way of the Lord is to change in here, to get rid of the clutter, to clear out the junk, to get rid of the refuse, to make room for Christ. There's a reason St. John the Baptist said, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path because we can let a lot of things build up in our lives that prevent Jesus from finding a home in here. During the season of Advent, let's heed the word prepare, but to remember that preparing is not doing with our hands, it's changing our hearts so that we can change our lives.